Hey! I know, uh, kind of weird attire that I have on, and what a way to start the video, but yeah, Requiem has a new collab. Let, let this, let's just get into it. If you guys didn't hear already, we have a new Monster High collab, and Requiem has a little announcement around it. It was announced, hey beasties, Monster High is now in Rec Room and stand out with Rec Room's first ever high heels and new ghoulishly cool hairstyles. Available now! And we got this little cool cover art image and stuff like that showing off the characters, and be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts. Inside of Rec Room, though, you guys can see that we have this new pop-up shop this is this is all that the collab is but we do have the three characters which are Holt, Draculaura, and Claudine just all their sets you guys will notice that Claudine and Draculaura have heels and stuff too these are the first edition of Requiem heels so it's pretty cool and there was a little bug with Colt's headphones earlier so that's why you have this empty spot they were just super big so they removed them but you can still get it on the watch and this is the Monster High collab inside of Requiem and honestly kind of underwhelming I thought it would honestly be more but I guess this is is just it. Be sure to let me know what you guys think or would have wanted with this collab and stuff. But hey, I mean, it's not all bad to be honest because the prices are like super cheap. Super cheap prices. Talking about prices though, if you're gonna buy anything that's at a rec room, use my code. That's right. It's time where I shamelessly self-plug my code. It may have been 45 days since you last used it, so be sure to check if you're still using it inside of the game because it disappears every 45 days. And if you don't know, it's just like a supporter creator code. It helps me out and stuff like that, and when you spend money in the game, I get a bit of that, and blah, 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 blah. Just use my code. Or else. And inside the rec center, you guys will notice that we have this part of the, you know, Rectober on this side of the rec... And you guys will notice in the rec center, we have Rectober over here now, and yeah, why is this guy so chill though? He's so chill. Now we got another announcement about Requiem talking about their Evergrown PvP room. Last Friday, we dropped Evergrown PvP, a laser tag PvP game we built off the My Little Monsters map. This room is different because it's one of our first rooms you can clone, customize, and make your own. Build a house or hideout, throw in a spooky witch hat, or set up a cozy campfire inside of the actual Evergrown. The room is your oyster. Ready to get creative? Check out this forum post to learn more and leave us with feedback on how helpful you find rooms like these. We can't wait to see what amazing spins you put on it. And yes, this was posted on the creator forum. This is my first time actually seeing this, which is kind of cool. But before we hop into that forum post, it seems like creative forum is like some sort of new tool that Requiem has now. They have this little thing that you should read first before getting started with it, and we get this little explanation from this Requiem employee called Oki Orko. Welcome to the creator forum. This tool is still in the works, so if you have access to this, you are some of the first people to test it out. Right now, we are currently using it to collect bugs on Rooms 2.0 and get site and forum feedback. But eventually, we will open more topics to more users and use the forum to announce new features and host more conversations, and these are our goals with the creator forum. It's a place to share ideas or just get help, a single place to find updates with history and optimize searchability, clear statuses on your bug reports, direct interaction with Rec Room to feel more heard, and lastly, we are excited to use this as a platform to drive connection within the community and with us. Feel free to comment on this post with any questions or feedback that you may have as we continue to build out this forum, and feel free to check out this guide if you have any other questions or just ask us. Anywho, back to the actual Evergrown forum post. Digital Buffalo, a Rec Room employee, says, Hey Rec Room creators, we recently released released Evergrown PvP, a new room based on the Requiem original My Little Monsters. We originally developed this as an internal prototype, but after having so much fun with it and seeing the potential it has to develop, we wanted to share it with our creators to clone, modify, and republish as your own game with your own imagination, driving the direction. Evergrown PvP is a free-for-all PvP game where you can use laser tag weapons to rack up a KO streak. Knocking out as many players as possible before getting knocked out yourself, your KO streak continues until another player successfully tags you out. But because the map has some verticality, players can bounce and hide behind trees and rocks to keep their streak alive. If you're wondering what you can do, they made Evergrown PvP clonable, so being able to clone a room means that you don't have to start from scratch. You can just copy the room and give it your own personal twist, allowing you to add props, decorate on top of the existing environment, or add new mechanics to make gameplay more exciting. If you need inspiration given the season, imagine building a house or hideout, throwing in a spooky witch hat, or setting up a cozy campsite in the Evergrown. You can even add your own monsters and costumes making a PvE game where players have to defend the big tree. It also gives you the opportunity to dig in and explore the circuits behind how a game like this works, and if you want, you can take those circuits and use them in a completely new setting. And whilst you can't move objects to using the Maker Pen, you can change and edit everything inside this room using Requiem Studio. Requiem Studio gives creators access to a sweet of professional grade development tools including not just unity editor but also a variety of apps that it can import from like photoshop blender Maya, and more and there's a whole lot more information if you guys want to pause and read you guys can download Requiem studio there and lastly they ask why did they do this 
They're looking for ways to make the creation process easier for their community, and they love seeing creators like you take a room and turn it into your own creation. So if you do clone the room, be sure to tag with Evergreen PvP and show us what creative spin you've put on it. There's also a guide if you guys want to, and they also love your feedback on this clonable room. Is starting with a base game room helpful for you? What do you dislike or like about it? Are you interested in using circuits or assets from a clonable room? Let us know your thoughts in the forum post below. And of course, I'll have this linked inside the description. There's also some new UGC added as well inside the game, and we got this new ghost scarf. It's pretty cool and be sure to let me know what you guys think down inside the comments below. It was also confirmed with UGC items that Zizzy is going to be putting a new set of UGC items up tomorrow which is going to be Friday and they're trying to split up their new releases, RO themes, partnerships, and UGC items on different days. It looks like UGC gets Friday so the humans who do the publishing review work have time midweek to get it done. When asked what time the UGC cosmetics would come out, Zizzy says, um, until we get an automated merchandising system in place, it's all operated on human time and I'd say the new UGC items make it to the store when I'm about halfway into my morning cup of coffee but after dealing with messages from with my team so I have time to update the store page then add seven hours for GMT. How about I'll just post here when the new UGC items are up inside the store. And when someone added RR loves making last minute changes, Zizzy says yeah sorry. Three weeks into building a new process we're getting avatar items into the store and we're still very much feeling our way through. Currently working on the plan for how releases will lurk will work longer term. Don't think so though. Don't think so. Players are also noticing that they also log into Rec Room differently as well. Some people just have the one button and it's just the play button and they also have like these little three dots which allows you to you know switch your account or set up your language. I think it looks cleaner personally but of course what do you guys think? Now one piece of feedback that I hear a lot is that people are kind of sad that the new monster high hairstyles are not recolorable. Jode Animation had responded to some feedback that was just like this and he had said that's fair but Mattel had stipulations for how the brand is represented and hopefully UGC creators who are inspired to create hair options in similar veins without copying these that use our hair color and pattern systems. I think there's also a tons of opportunity to make longer hairstyles that we currently offer. Jode was also asked if they'd ever become recolorable inside the future, and he said, unsure if that exact hairstyle can, likely not given the contract, but I'm not sure. Something very similar. And when someone was wondering if UGC creators can make hair that actually fits into the hair category instead of it being considered a hat, Jeff had said, not quite sure how true this is today, but I do believe you can make real hair with Avatar Studio. And Joda Animation, and Joda Animation also asked that they're working to make that possible this year, yes, but they don't want it to be a bunch of creators making hair and shipping it as a hat. That makes it messy for customizing and the shopping experience. And Joda Animation added a little note to Jeff's message saying not yet, but soon. I, f I forgot to record the membership bit, so we're just gonna do the we're gonna do the membership bit now. Of course, if you don't know already, it's basically just like a little Patreon, but people that decide to support me get like sneak peeks to videos and shout it out on all my videos. Anyways, these people include Hydro, Kobe Fan seventy six, Nolan, Not the Pup, The Dragon Boy, Gasty, Garlic Bread, It's Ready, R R, Desert with Cat, Bee, Burning Owl, Raphael, Cloud of Six Nine, and of course Box David. Join the fam. J just do it. Anyways, that, that's it, bye. It was also confirmed by Jay that classic bean body avatars are going to be a thing for the rest of the year as well. And lastly, I had noticed that we had gotten this new little React loading screen now for whenever you're loading into Rec Room games. And that's pretty much all the news for today. Of course, if you guys want to see more Rec Room news content, you guys can see all my videos on that side of the screen. Like, subscribe, and use my code and do all that crazy stuff. I really do appreciate it. Especially with the new release with these items. If you guys decide to buy tokens or, you know, spend any money on the game, use my code. And yeah, um... Nothing really too crazy personally going on, but um, I have a lot of sponsorships coming, so that's fun. Be on, be on the lookout for those. And yeah, that's it. Bye.